Question 11a. Let S equal the number of sales made in the store. We are told that the probability of a sale is 20%. Given that 25 customers come into the store, the number of sales S can be modelled using a binomial distribution where the number of trials is 25 and the probability of success is 0.2. To calculate the mean number of sales, we evaluate So, the mean number of sales on a day where 25 customers enter the store is 5 sales. Question 11, Part B. The standard deviation of a binomial distribution can be calculated using Using the answer to part A and the fact that P is equal to 0 0.2, we get the standard deviation of the number of sales on a day where 25 customers enter the store is 2. Question 11C. We want to determine the number of customers such that the probability of making at least one sale is 88%. Let's first define SN to be the number of sales when N customers enter the store. SN is again binomial, with the number of trials equal to N and the probability of success 0.2. Now let's take the question's words and turn it into maths. We want to find N such that the probability of making at least one sale is 0 0.88. So we need to find the value of n such that we can rewrite this probability as this is a very powerful thing to do when dealing with the wording at least. We can now solve the following equation for n as follows. Alternatively, we can solve this in the Solver app as follows. We set n equal to 0 as a good practice to focus on what we are solving for. Given we cannot have half a person, the minimum number of people required is 10. Question 12, part A. Let X be the distance travelled by vehicles in a year. We are told that the distance travelled can be modelled by using a normal distribution where the mean is 13,700 and the standard deviation is 3,400. This can be written as We want to find the probability that a randomly chosen car travelled less than 12,000 kilometres, i.e. Entering the statistics mode on our calculator, we need to use the NCD feature, so we press normal, then NCD. Our lower tail is negative 1 times 10 to the 99, the upper is 12,000, and our standard deviation and mean are as given above. Thus, the probability that the randomly chosen car has travelled less than 12,000 kilometres 
is 0.3085. Question 12, part B. We now want to determine X such that 60% of vehicles travel less than X kilometres in 2021, i.e. Entering the statistics mode, we need to use the inverse N feature. Our tail is left of X, the error is 0 0.6, and the standard deviation is 3,400. The mean is 13,700. Thus, X equals 14,561.38 kilometers, which means 60% of vehicles traveled less than approximately 14,562 kilometres. Question 13, part A. We are given two key pieces of information to help us solve for A and B. The width of the beach is 8 metres at 8 a.m., which is two hours after 6 a.m. So... The width of the beach is 3 metres at 5pm, which is 11 hours after 6am. So, thus, subbing the values into our equation of W, we get... And so let's think about this. 11 pi over 6 subtract pi over 3 can be written as 11 pi over 6 subtract 2 pi over 6, which equals 9 pi over 6, which is equal to 3 pi all over 2. So what is sine at 3 pi on 2? Well, if you think about our unit circle, 3 pi on 2 is down here. So sine at 3 pi on 2 is equal to negative 1. Question 13, part B. From part A, we have that A equals 8 and B equals 5. Thus, which we can write as, we now need to determine the rate of change of the width of the beach at 8am. Whenever we see a rate of change, we need to think about derivative. Thus, we need to find the derivative of W at 8am. 8 a.m. is equivalent to t equals 2. Given this question is only worth two marks, I'm going to do it on my calculator, but it could be done by hand without too much effort. We now need to find where this rate of change is repeated. To do this, we're going to graph the derivative of w and determine where a rate of 5 pi on 6 occurs again. We want to evaluate this derivative for every value of x, so we get a nice smooth graph. We're now going to plot a straight line, y equals 5 pi on 6. The intersection of these two graphs 
will tell us where the rate of 5 pi on 6 repeats again. In the question, we are told that t is between 0 and 24. We will construct our view window to reflect this. We can see that our rate of change of 5 pi on 6 appears twice. First at t equals 2, and then this second point we can determine by going g solve and intersect. And we find that the rate of change occurs again at t equals 14. Therefore, at t equals 14, which is equivalent to 8 pm, the rate of change of 5 pi over 6 occurs again. Question 14, part A. From Ravi's sample of 200 different pet owners, he found that only 50 celebrated their pet's birthdays. Thus, the sample proportion is 50 over 200. To determine the 95% confidence interval for proportion, we can use the statistics app. Here, the calculator asks for x, which in this case is the number of people who celebrated their pet's birthday. So, x equals 50. Ravi sampled 200 people, so n equals 200. We want a 95% confidence interval, so we can leave the sea level as is. Thus, the confidence interval has a lower bound of 0 0.19 and an upper bound of 0 0.31. Question 14, Part B. Ravi's friends have also randomly sampled Brisbane's pet owners. To utilise all the data available, we can combine the three surveys into one big survey. The total number of pet owners in the survey will be 1,000,000. The number of people who celebrated their pet's birthdays is 1,000,000. And so the sample proportion of people who celebrate their pet's birthday is entering these values into the calculator we get a 95% confidence interval with a lower bound of 0 0.2047 and an upper bound of 0 0.2841 Question 14c. Ravi's random sample consisted of 200 pet owners. The combined samples of Kudja and Tim form one sample of 350 pet owners. As such, the confidence interval that results from the combined sample will have a smaller width than the confidence interval that results from Ravi's sample. And so, Kudja's claim is reasonable as it results in a better estimate for population parameter P. Question 14, Part D. The normal approximation of the binomial for proportion states that the true proportion 
of Brisbane's pet owners who celebrate their pet's birthday is 0 0.24. Given a random sample of 200 was taken, we need to determine the probability that more than 30% of pet owners celebrate their pet's birthday, i.e. In the statistics app, the NCD mode can be used to evaluate this probability. The probability that more than 30% of pet owners celebrate their pet's birthday is 0 0.02.